So you want to install Optifine? with Forge. Well, guess what? We're going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. And that means any other Forge mods that you have, you will be able to use with Optifine once we're completed with this guide. However, first and foremost, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. This is your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we also our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, first things first, let's get Optifine. To do that, you want to go to the second link in the description down below and that's going to take you here this is our in-depth guide on how to download and install optifine and for this video you're not going to use any of it except this green download link here when you click on that it's going to take you to optifine's download page where we want to go under the minecraft 1.18.2 section find optifine here and click on this mirror link when we do that it's going to take us to the official 1.18.2 optifine download page where you just want to click on that blue download button finally optifine is going to download on the bottom left you may need to keep it in the bottom left of google chrome or save it in the same screen on mozilla Firefox. If you get an error like this, that's perfectly fine. Optifine's download in the bottom left or in the center of your screen. We also need to download Forge. Forge is required, obviously, in order to install Optifine and probably the other mods you want as well. If you already have Forge, awesome, but we are going to show how to install it in this video. The third link down below will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting Forge, and you can use it instead of this video if you would like. However, once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download Forge button and we want to find the 1.18.2 version. Now, as you can see, it's already selected for us here, but if it's not, you can select it from this left-hand sidebar, then come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That will take you to the Add Focus page here, where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. You don't want to click a single thing on this page. So just put your hands in the air. Don't click anything. I said don't click anything. Wait about 10 seconds, and then in the top right, a red skip button will appear. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you do that in the bottom left, Forge 1.18.2, should download on Google Chrome, or you may need to keep it. You may need to save it in the server screen on other browsers like Firefox. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here, and we want to drag and drop and get Optifine and Forge to our desktop just because they're easier to deal with once they're there. Nevertheless, to do that, you want to click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or it's in the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Then type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and then in here, you'll have Forge and Optifine. Drag and drop these to your desktop just like so. Now, with these on your desktop, we want to start off with Forge. Now, if these icons aren't correct for you, that's okay. Let's see if we can open up Forge. Right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java here, or if Forge just doesn't open up at all, you need to get Java. That's the same, by the way, if your icons are broken. So no matter what issue you have, you need to get Java. Java. To do that, you want to go to the description down below and download this, Java 17. This is linked in the description down below for it's just open for us. But you can check this out in the description down below. It goes through every single step of downloading and installing Java, and that's going to fix your icons or allow you to open up Forge. However, if you still have issues after downloading Java, you need to run the jar fix. This is going to link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them all work perfectly. So nevertheless, though, we can finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. It's then going to open up the mod system install for Forge, and it seems like it's actually being a bit slow today. As you saw there, it took about a minute or so, probably about 30 seconds to open. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick jump cut, even though I don't want to. I actually don't want to jump cut. There we go. I didn't want to jump cut there because I didn't want it to seem like I was doing any trickery. As you can see, I didn't. Nevertheless, here we are. Click on Install Client in the Mod System Installer and click OK. This is going to download and do the things that it needs to do to install Forge in 1.18.2. And by the way, if it does stuff like this, like freeze and all that, that is perfectly normal. It's uh, also normal if it uh, gets to 100% and then stops. That happens all the time and it's a very, very odd. So I'll go ahead and see you once Forge is installed. There we go. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge. If you don't get this message here, you get anything else, it is because one of two things has happened. Either Minecraft is open or you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.2 before. If that's the case, go play it with no mods or anything. Just go play it, come back, and this will work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click OK. Then we'll close out of Forge, and now we can delete Forge from our desktop. Let's get Optifine installed. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit play here, you want to make sure we have our Forge installation selected, right? So for me, it's going to be a Forge installation. If you don't have a Forge installation, I'm going to show you how to create one. But the Minecraft launcher is also being a little slow for me today. So, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm always about to do a jump cut, and it's like, hey, here you go. But nonetheless, once we're in the launcher here, we want to make sure that that Forge installation is selected. Now, for me, it's automatically selected. As you can see, if it's not for you, click this little arrow next to the play button and select Forge here. Once you've got it, 
and it's 1.18.2 under it. Click play and click play again. But if you don't have Forge here or you don't have the right version, 1.18.2 here, click on installations. Then make sure mod is checked. As you can see, you uncheck modded, Forge disappears, check on modded. If it's here, awesome. Hover over it, click play, click play. But if you still don't have this or you don't have the right version, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.18 grief protected survival and skyblock server. We have over 100 players online every single day. You absolutely love it. Come play with us. Nevertheless, let's go and click this version drop down box here. And what we wanna do is actually select release 1.18.2-forge. Now you may have Optifine in here. Don't click that. You wanna click release 1.18.2-forge. Once you've got forge selected, I'm gonna change the resolution. The most important part of this though is making sure Forge is here. Click Create, and now we have this new profile we created, play.breakdowncraft.com, that most importantly has Forge. Then go ahead and hover over it, click the green play button, and click play again. That's the hardest part of getting Optifine installed with Forge. It's actually just getting Forge. Once you have Forge, it's uh, relatively simple, honestly. As you can see, Forge is now launching, and boom, it was kind of instant there. <laughs> it went from like not loading, not loading, not loading, to it's launching now. For some reason, my computer has been a bit slow today, and I have a Absolutely no clue why. But nevertheless, once Forge and Minecraft are opening here, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we are on the main menu. And if you get white screens and slow loading and things like that, it's perfectly normal with modded Minecraft. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. And once we're here, we want to make sure that we have this mods button. If you don't, you don't have Forge, so you need to go make sure you're playing with that Forge installation. Nevertheless, once you're here, click on Mods and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Now, this may be familiar to you, and you may have mods here. And if that's the case, it's this simple to install Optifine. All you gotta do is drag and drop Optifine from your desktop into your mods folder, right here with any other mods. I don't have any mods in here right now, but I could, just enough items. Biomes of Plenty, Tinker's Construct, any mods that you wanted to add here could be added as long as they're 1.18.2 Forge compatible, right? So you put Optifine in there with your Forge mods. Now, one thing that might freak you out is when we come back to Minecraft, it's not here, but obviously that's normal. We need to restart Minecraft with our Forge installation in order to get mods active, right? Now, overall, there's nothing out of the ordinary there. As you can see, we're launching with our Forge version here. Now, the thing that's weird is once we get in game, if we go back to that mods folder, normally mods you installed with Forge would be in that mods folder, right? So once we're in game, you'll be able to see that those mods aren't there, right? Optifine's not there specifically. Other mods will be, like just enough items or bombs of plenty, as I mentioned, but Optifine will not be in that mods folder. Let's go ahead, jump to the main menu, and I'll show you uh, exactly what I'm talking about. So here we are loading into the main menu, and as you can see, mods, no Optifine. That is very odd. Most Forge mods show up here. Actually, Optifine's the only one I know that doesn't because now if we come back over here and we go to options and video settings, in the bottom left, Optifine HD. Shaders, it's here. All of that stuff is here and it is working. So actually go ahead, select vanilla plus shaders here and let's go into play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Absolutely incredible. Newly updated to 1.17, 1.18. You will love it and um, yeah, here we are in game. Look at this. Ha! Awesome stuff. Shaders is installed and working. This is vanilla plus shaders. It's a lighter resource pack, and as I, my computer's been a little slow, I didn't want to go with a very, very hardcore shaders pack. But yeah, it's Breakdown Craft for Survival. Like I said, newly updated. You should come play on it. It, uh, it really is incredible. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.